On Sundays, we take a look at classic movie trailers, and since today is Super Bowl Sunday and tomorrow is Valentine's Day, we thought we'd take a look at the trailer for Jerry Maguire. Does it score a touchdown for love, or does it fumble the ball? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Movie Trailer Rankings. We're on a journey to find out which trailers are best and why, so join us as we watch, review, and rank this week's trailers. All right, let's get started. I want everybody to see you for what you are. The best kept secret in the NFL. You are the man. You ready? Yep. Let's go. My name is Jerry Maguire. I'm a sports agent. You could say I'm at the top of my game, but something just isn't right. Jerry Maguire! What can I do for you, Rod? Show me the money. Get off my face! Show me the money! Money! Can you sign my card? Sorry, little fella. I can't sign this brand of card. Only Pro Jam Blue Dot cards. And lately, it's getting worse. I came here to let you go. Pardon me? I came here to fire you, Jerry. Don't worry. I'm not gonna do what you all think I'm gonna do, which is just flip out! Who's coming with me? Who is coming with me? I will go with you. Dorothy Boyd, thank you. Good morning. We're going to be okay, because I am going to take my one client, and we are going to go all the way. Help me, Rod. Help me help you. Help me help you. You are hanging on by a very thin thread, (laughs) and I dig that about you. You want to go out to dinner? Some dudes might have the coin, but they'll never have the quan. Quan? It means love. Wish me luck. Whoa, hey. That is the first time I have ever seen him kiss a man just like a dad. Don't What's cry at the beginning of a date. Yeah, just okay. cry at the end like I do. She'll let you in her house. You come knocking late at night. She'll let you in her mouth. If the words you say are right. If you pay the price, she'll let you deep inside. There's a secret garden she has. My whole life I've been trying to talk, I mean, really talk. But no one wants to listen to me. You know that feeling? You, you know that feeling? All right, hey, if this is the first time you have been to our channel and you want to learn more about how we rank movie trailers, we made a video for that. You can click on the link in the upper right or in the description below to find out more. Check it out. Let us know what you think. In order to rank this classic trailer, we need to first cover a few of what we call critical non-factors. These are things about the movie that we don't want to let affect the scoring of the trailer. Some of the critical non-factors for this trailer are, well, it's a Tom Cruise movie. If you like Tom Cruise, great. If you don't, Great, we're going to score this trailer anyway. We're going to try to set aside the fact that this is one of the largest movie stars in movie star history. Uh, But it won't be the last Tom Cruise trailer we review, I'm sure. So your opinions about him, we'll set those aside. Also, likely, uh, this movie's got one of these little cutesy kids in it. And man, I even remember when this movie came out. I was so annoyed at these cute little kids in the movie like that's the only reason they're there is just to be cute i'm sure this kid's gone on to do amazing things he's probably working on curing cancer right now but at the time it was just about him being cute and that drove me nuts so we're going to set that aside though and that's not the fault of the the editor or this trailer this is something that comes with the movie and i think i've also mentioned in the past that i i'm uh stationed here in western pennsylvania by law that makes me a steelers fan and this clip right here was giving me flashbacks to Super Bowl 43. And I know it was just in the trailer for just half a second, but that's all it takes. If I'm going to see the Steelers uniform and a Cardinals uniform, I'm going to be thinking about this catch, not the one that Rod Tidwell made. So sorry, Cardinals fans, you guys can, you know, you you have your day in the sun with this guy, but we got the real deal here. Okay, anyway, moving on to scoring... And uh, unfortunately, 
as this this movie went on to it got nominated for Oscars and everything and I I don't think it was because of this trailer. It's slow and choppy. It doesn't seem to really know what it wants. It's got Tom Cruise all over the place, which is fine. That's his, you know, he's a bankable star. Obviously, you're going to show him. It's a romance, but they intercut it with sort of weird shots of foot, football action, like they're trying to keep guys interested. The comedy elements kind of seem like a bit of an afterthought. It just seems like they don't have a clear vision for how to market this film, and so it's all over the place. The music selections are not bad songs, but they're not used in a way that's clever or persuasive. The editing underneath the nearly 40 second long clip of Bruce Springsteen's Secret Garden makes it feel more like a montage in the movie than a trailer for the movie. So if you remember the movie well, maybe this trailer brings back some fond memories for you, but as a selling piece to hook new audiences, which is what it is designed to do or meant to be designed to do. It's kind of slow, and it's kind of messy. So overall, we're going to give the trailer for Jerry Maguire a score of 4.8 out of 10. Let's see where it ranks on the leaderboards for our classic leaderboards. And hey, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button. It really helps our channel out. And we want to hear from you too. What do you think? Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Tell us in the comments below. That's going to do it for us today. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Enjoy Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.